I like to smoke uh, blunts, joints, right? Makes me feel like Snoop Dogg. Can't do edibles anymore. Swore those off. Last time I had uh, an edible, I had three pot brownies, went to Disneyland, and convinced Winnie the Pooh to break character so that he could take me to a first aid station. <laughs> because I was having a panic attack. <laughs> the, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes. I can only imagine what it looked like to ongoing children. First time at Disneyland, just seeing a grown man flexing on poo in broad daylight. Like, you gotta help me, man. My heart's gonna pop out of my fucking chest. <laughs> Losing my mind. Very, I was terrified on, uh, on many levels. And then I started getting flooded with all these flashbacks. Because then I remembered, oh shit, my folks took my sister and I to Disneyland when we were six for like a save the marriage trip, right? And, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, didn't work. And, uh... But I remembered getting lost that day at six and, uh, and getting the, uh, the, uh, the, the sweet help from Winnie the Pooh again, who I'm now facing down with 30 years later. So I'm just like, dude, Pooh, you helped me 30 years ago. Now you're going to bail on me when I'm having a fucking heart attack. And this motherfucker in the suit, which I know was not a real guy because I played Wolverine at Universal Studios. So I'm like, you know, which, you know, shouldn't be the only reason you know that somebody's not the real Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I used to play a character too. I know you're probably Kevin from Detroit in there, you know? But I was like, dude, break the fourth wall. I need some fucking help. And this guy would not break the character code of conduct. He looked right at me and was like, like I don't know what to tell you. That's Christopher Robin, you know? <laughs> so now I'm freaking out. And, uh, and people have seen me freak out. So then you get extra self-conscious, right? Who walks away, and then you have to just like stand there by yourself, like yeah. you a big cokehead. People are like, are "You cool?" You're like, "You are you cool?" <laughs> then I had to break away uh, and get indoors, so I went to Splash Mountain. Not before I was reunited. Yeah, not before I was reunited with my buddy who I went to the park with. We had gotten separated, right? So I was lost for a second time, again, freaking out. We just poo to come to my rescue. We fucking failed on that mission. Then I see my buddy, it was like we were, you know, like remember at the end of Titanic when people were like, saw each other, they're like, I thought you drowned. Like that's how it was <laughs> when I saw him. I was like, I thought you were dead. He's like, where the fuck were you? I was like, I fucking got a pizza and then I found poo and I just, I'm free. I had a heart attack in front of a kid. It's a long story, you know? <laughs> then we got on Splash Mountain and uh, we started to chill out for a little bit because, you know, there's some, uh, some tranquil moments. You know, you sit around, you just, you know, get in a log, you just kind of coast down a river, right? <laughs> zip ba dee doo down, zip ba dee hey. Right, we start singing along, we're like, we're fucking bad, thank God we didn't die today, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, and then panic started to resettle in when all these robotic animals started popping out of nowhere every 12 to 16 seconds. Hey, Walt, too many animatronics is my one piece of feedback. Every, just fucking, just all these animals just, me, 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 maybe I'm real, right? Just staring at you, <laughs> staring at you way too long into your soul. <laughs> I knew we were too big because at the top of Splash Mountain was an owl and he looks right at my buddy and he goes, me, me, whoo! <laughs> and my buddy starts nudging me. He's like, dude, Adam, that owl just called you a Jew. We got to get out of here. This place is haunted, man. How do you know? <laughs> that was cool. I'll give you that. Because, man, I've had some insane nightmares. <laughs> I still fuck with NyQuil. I don't know why. Probably because the uh, slogan, commercial, they make it seem so carefree, you know? The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, stuffy head fever so you can rest medicine. You're like, oh, that sounds great. I'd love to rest. And Nyquil's like, yeah, you can definitely rest after you hallucinate for 45 minutes. <laughs> Get ready to see your dead grandpa on a seesaw in France. <laughs> Nyquil.